<laughs> Hello and welcome to the UR Comp News. I'm Tyler Turner in for Jack Hoving, who is currently rehearsing for his performance of Hamlet this weekend. <laughs> Silly boy, don't you know that no one likes live theater, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Um, our first story today is that cruising out to Bal uh, cruising out of Baltimore is set to resume in the coming weeks, as per Royal Caribbean's announcement that Vision of the Seas will sail out of port on May 25th. This comes nearly two months after the disastrous destruction of a key bridge. Carnival is also sailing out of Port Baltimore with its Carnival Pride. These are the only confirmed usages of the port so far, but we hope that the reconstruction and recovery comes soon to the area. Um, <clears throat> and now on to MSC, where more details about the upcoming World America have been revealed, specifically its yacht club. With 152 suites, this yacht club will be the MS will be MSC's largest when it launches in April 2025 from Miami. Exclusive amenities and services are the true highlight of MSC's ship within a ship concept with World America's Yacht Club to also feature an expansive sun deck with table service from their bar and grill, duplex suites and two owner suites with walk-in wardrobes, living and dining areas, a hot tub and private dining terrace. Hit those slots hard if you want one of these suites. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you've enjoyed the Yacht Club experience or plan to in the future. That's it for this week's UR Comp News. All right. Great job, Tyler. And I see in the comments, Sharon says, I want to cruise Yacht Club one day. It sounds amazing. Yes, it's definitely you you like a thing we hear that once you do it, like you can, you always want to do it. It's amazing. <laughs> um, and then uh, Beverly, shout out Lexi, happy six year anniversary. Yes, we celebrated that today and also Tuesday. Um, Ron says, hello everyone. Uh, Vi says, hi from Cocoa Beach. Nice. I hope you're having a great time. Um, and yeah, now I get to share some exciting new things that uh, Royal Caribbean and Celebrity shared with me on my cruise. I just got back on Monday, so there's some pictures of me with some of the crew staff, and I took my mom because it was Mother's Day weekend, so uh, we had a great time on Symphony. So, uh, first set of news, uh, Royal and Celebrity have and are continuing to implement a new table tracking system, and now players will be able to see their total points. Yes, including your table game points on machines, okay? So, that's great news, you don't have to go up to the host if you're a table player and ask them what your total points are for that cruise anymore. Um, coming soon, another thing is there will be a no-show penalty added for guests on Royal and Celebrity, meaning if you no-show for a cruise, then on future cruises, they may require an additional deposit. They are still working out the kinks to determine how the deposit would be returned to, for, to you guys, whether it would be onboard credit, free play, something like that. But don't worry, it's only players that are habitual offenders of no showing. So if you are a habitual offender, you may receive an email warning about this before the new rule goes into place. So just let your host know if you cannot make a, a cruise last minute so that you won't be considered a no show, okay? Um, next thing, Royal and Celebrity are also gonna make an effort to pay closer attention to cruising factors that could hinder your play like itineraries with limited gaming time, such as Asian or Hawaiian itineraries, um, or unexpected casino closures or staffing issues. So if you return from your trip where your play may have been limited because of a uh, unexpected, unexpected casino closing or um, staffing, just let your UR Comp host know so they can add a note to your account. So whenever um, we can, uh, we'll take, Royal and Celebrity will be able to take that into consideration when looking at your future comps as well. Also, in about two months or so, if you accumulate about 10,000 redeemable points on Royal, you can actually, instead of uh, using that for free play, which I'm sure all y'all will use it for free play, but if not, you'll get a $200 folio credit towards your um, onboard purchases. Um, that does exclude certain things like Medispa, medical bills, um, certain brands, but pretty much um, it can go towards like excursions or Wi-Fi or other costs like that. 
Um, currently on Icon and Wonder, um, they are the only ships doing upfront comps when you arrive on board, but Royal will be adding this across their full fleet. Um, Celebrity is also going to start ramping up event cruises soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, and also Celebrity's first tier renewal since pre-pandemic has been announced for August 2025. So if you don't regain your status between July 31st and August 1st, 2025, you will lose it. So don't worry, you still have until August 2025 to regain your status and accumulate it for the next year. And that's all the big news. And there's some more things, but we can't share them yet. So uh, <laughs> lots of big cool things are coming out for Royal and Celebrity.